Now, let's take a closer look at some of the options on the shooting menu. We have already covered image quality and white balance, so let's scroll down to Set Picture Control. Here we can select and customize a picture look. For this example, I'll choose the predefined vivid setting. OK, let's explore this a little bit. By pressing the right arrow key, I can fine tune the tonal properties such as contrast and color saturation. The advantage of doing this in the camera is your image will be altered before it's compressed and stored on the memory card. You may find this useful if you shoot in JPEG and want to minimize adjustments on the computer later. You can save customized picture controls by selecting Manage Picture Controls from the Shooting menu. Choose Save Edit and then pick an existing picture control to work from. Make the changes you want and then press OK. You will then be able to save the settings under one of nine custom picture control slots. Like the shooting banks, the custom picture controls can be named for easier use. Here are two more shooting menu settings you may want to consider long exposure noise reduction and high ISO noise reduction. Both will cut back on the graininess in certain situations. If you turn on long exposure noise reduction, the camera will apply noise reduction to all photos taken at shutter speeds of 8 seconds or slower. High ISO noise reduction can be set to low, medium, or high, depending on the amount of noise reduction processing you want. With this setting, the camera will engage noise reduction at ISOs of 800 and higher. Keep in mind, noise reduction takes time, so turning on these options will slow down the camera's processing speed. Two additions to the shooting menu relate to the dual memory card option. You can select which will be the primary memory card. Then, decide how the secondary card will function. In the default setting, the camera will save images to your primary card first. Once the card is full, the camera begins saving to the secondary card. The default may be most useful to photographers who have a fast writing memory card specifically for video. In essence, this setting allows you to segregate image files from video files. You won't have to worry about image files taking up space you need for video clips. You will need to designate your fastest memory card as a destination for all movie clips. Then, designate the slower memory card as your primary. All the photos will be saved on the slower primary card, while videos go to the faster secondary card. Video and image files will remain segregated until the primary card fills up. Option 2 for the secondary slot function creates a backup for all of your image files. Select this option if you absolutely cannot afford to lose your images. Whether your concern is disk failure or theft, or you are a journalist in a hot zone, having a backup copy in your pocket could save your work. The third option allows you to save raw images on the primary card and JPEG copies on the secondary card. This graphic on the shooting information display clearly shows the type of file being saved to each card. Press the call button and turn the main dial until the raw plus JPEG option appears. You can select fine, normal, or basic quality JPEGs. Professional photographers may find this setting very useful. At the end of a shoot, the photographer can hand the client a disk full of JPEG copies to review. The photographer takes the raw versions back to the studio for post-processing. 